Well, the Russians are here. They're, they're hitting the U.S. Officials say they believe Russian hackers could be behind the email leaks from the Democratic National Committee and the Clinton campaign. This on the day that one of the biggest cybersecurity firms in the world gets even bigger. Symantec closed its deal to buy fellow security firm Bluecoat. Joining us now in a Fox Business exclusive is a man on the front lines of these kinds of cyber attacks, Symantec President Michael Fay. He's the COO as well. On whether, I guess, Michael, you believe Russia is to blame and what this says about the state of U.S. cybersecurity right now that they're getting involved in our political process too this way. Yeah, attribution is a dangerous thing. When it comes to cybersecurity and advanced attacks, the same people that can build these great attacks can also hide their identity and point the finger in an opposite direction. But in this case, as you start to peel it back and you look at the mounting evidence, it appears there were two different groups with strong ties to the Russian military that committed these attacks. The first group starting in 2015, and the second group coming a little bit after that, to the point they're actually stepping on each other in this process. So it is definitely now looking as if Russia is behind this in some meaningful way. And if we think about the value from an espionage perspective, it also makes sense. Well, okay, that's news. You're saying Russia is behind this in some meaningful way because you guys are, are the best in the business at figuring this kind of stuff out. And now, what with the Blue Code acquisition, you have multi layer security. And when I say that, I just want our viewers to know that that's mobile, that's server, that's cloud, security, storage, backup. But the patches are so necessary too because just as we figure out ways to put up the Teflon walls, they figure out ways to get around it. Correct? Without a doubt, you know, protecting ourselves from a cyber perspective is an ongoing effort. And as we change shape, we have to think about our new exposure points. As we start to operate in the cloud, as you start to use, you know, applications, cloud, applet, cloud apps and cloud interactions, how you get targeted and the information people want is different. I may be more intrigued by your logins and interactions to other systems than the one I breach you on. And when you think about the group that was targeted here, the systems and information they'd have access to beyond the actual uh, Democratic National Party is staggering with the reach they could have. Well, look, uh, you know, Donald Trump was out there saying, hey, I'd like the Russians to figure out how to get the missing uh, Clinton emails, the 30,000 ones. And uh, whether, whatever side you stand on, it's important to point out that she had what you, what you guys at Symantec might consider a very porous server. And, and I think that that's, is that a message to every single business, both large and small? I mean, who needs to worry? Every single person with a website and a digital operation? You know, I think that's a great observation. We used to think about cybersecurity as a concern of the military's critical infrastructure, the banks. Yeah. And here you see something that's neither of those, that a breach literally attacks our freedom and attacks, you know, what we hold near and dear in our de democratic process. So I do think we need to start to take cybersecurity seriously, regardless of size. We need to appreciate the information and what it is we have to protect and start there. Don't be confused of the size of the organization or the company, but focus on what is it you're dealing with. And if you're dealing with the freedoms or people's information or your own critical information, there's somebody out there that wants it, and there's somebody that may do harm with it. You just, bingo, hit it on the head for every single one of our viewers. We have an investor audience. We have a business audience, and I think that's crucial. Michael, thank you. Good luck to you and Greg and the whole team at Symantec. Thank you. Michael Fay is now the president and COO of Symantec, which just acquired Blue Coat, big in cloud security.